So for making one of these V-tails, this is what you're going to need. So you're going to need 5 millimeters uh, thick foam board with the paper on. You're going to need a marker, a ruler, a cutting edge, a hot glue gun, blank ID cards, tape, and you could use barbecue skewers, but I personally use these uh, ABS square type tubes, or you could use something else that is plastic and small in diameter. So to determine what your V-tail span will be, uh, make sure to, uh, and I'll put something uh, up in this video uh, for you to know what kind of uh, V-tail span you're going to use. Um, because I have some recommendations. If you're going to use a 60 inch wingspan or a 63 inch wingspan in my case, because my wingspan is uh, 1600 millimeters uh, long or 1.6 meters, um, I recommend you using a 30 inch V-tail span. So from this folding crease from like the root all the way to the tip. If you go any lower than that, uh, your plane is not going to be stable and um, you're going to stress out more than enjoying your plane uh, flying. So um, I'll put something up in this uh, video uh, for you to see what um, V-tail span you're gonna uh, use uh, in order for your plane to be stable in the air. So for my upcoming model, which has a 63 inch uh, wingspan, or that's 1.6 meters long, I'm gonna go with a V-tail span of 35 centimeters. So your first step is gonna be to measure uh, 35 centimeters on both sides and draw a line. So I'm going to take out my ruler and I'm going to measure 35 centimeters in my case. So right here and down here, I'm going to measure 35 centimeters. And I'm going to draw the line. this so after completing your first step by drawing up the line of your VTL stabilizer span the next step is to uh, draw the second line according to your fuselage width so as an example I'm gonna take up my long-range high altitude model and you'll see that I have a VTL stabilizer uh, span of 30 centimeters but then it goes two inches uh, in the mid section that is attached to the fuselage and why is it two inches that's because my uh, fuselage width is two inches but on my next build it's a different case because I have a three inch uh, width fuselage so I'm gonna draw or I'm gonna mark up three inches away from this line on both sides and draw the next line so it's got to be three inches apart so in this step, you will just mark out the width of your fuselage. So in my case, it's three inches and three inches right there. And then you will just draw the line, the second line. So your next step after finishing your midsection is to mark up your V-tail stabilizer uh, span from this line on. So in my case, it was 35 centimeters. So I'm going to repeat it from this line on. So it will be 35 centimeters approximately here and also on the other side and then you're gonna cut the excess off so now I'm gonna take my ruler out and measure 35 centimeters so that's right on the edge right here so I'm gonna place a mark right there and draw the next 35 centimeter line or mark right there and so now I'm gonna cut the excess off so I will be left out with 35 centimeters 3 inches and 35 centimeters so I'm gonna take my cutting edge out and cut the excess off so so your next step will be to line out your V-tail shape on the foam board um, so I like to taper my V-tail uh, forward, but you could also leave it straight or taper it backwards. But for a plane with a 5-inch cord main wing, uh, the measurements I use is a 6-inch uh, effective root cord tapering up to a 3-inch effective tip cord. Because that's the superb combination, and that is with a 1.5-inch uh, rudder vader, so that's your control surface. 
but uh, my next build has a seven inch main wing so i like to add an extra inch uh, to each and every uh, cord so uh, instead of a six inch uh, effective uh, root cord it will have a seven inch effective root cord tapering up to a four inch effective root cord with also a one and a half inch rotator so your next step will be to um, uh, measure out your uh, effective root cord so in my case that will be seven inches so i'm gonna line out seven inches from here to here and so i'm gonna place a mark right here and also on the other side and then you want to mark it out and cut it out so that's your next step so what i'm gonna do is measure out seven inches from from like the edge to right here So I'm gonna measure out seven inches and place a mark on each and every side. So one right here and one right here. And so now I'm gonna take my ruler out. And so I'm gonna Instead of place a mark and cut it out, I'm gonna cut it out immediately. So I'm gonna take my uh, knife and cut it out like this. So this is your excess. And this is gonna be your V-tail. So now I'm left with a potential V-tail with a cord of seven inches, but I'd like to taper mine to an effective tip cord of four inches with the tapering going forward. So what I'd like to do is mark out four inches starting from the front edge. So I'm gonna mark out four inches approximately here and also on the other side. And so your step will be to um, cut it out from, um, from this edge to the mark with a ruler or something else. So your cut will be from the four inch mark straight down to this edge and from the other side you're gonna cut it out from the four inch mark all the way to here but before you uh, proceed to uh, do uh, that it's advised to already pre-taper your uh, v-tail so to tape the foam board so i like to use uh, this color scheme so it's going to be black red and clear packing tape so that's going to be white so i'm going to proceed to first uh, tape the foam board on the upper side and lower side and then I'm gonna line out the taper and cut it out. So after I've done uh, taping the uh, V-tail that it's going to be, um, because I use black tape, it's going to be hard to see where I left the marks. So I did it like this. And so now I'm going to measure um, four inches from the front edge on each side and taper it down to the mark that I made between the foam. So now I'm going to take my ruler out and make the mark on four inches starting from the uh, front edge so marking four inches right here and so now I've set the mark in between the foam board right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, ruler the bigger one and I'm gonna place it right on the edge and on the four inch uh, mark so And so now I can take my cutting edge and cut it out like this. So that is the excess and now I'm left with this taper. So I'll repeat that on the other side. So I'm gonna take out my ruler and I'm gonna mark four inches starting from the front edge so i'm gonna find the same 
uh, mark, but now on the other side. So let's just have a look right here. And so I'm gonna press on my ruler and cut it out like this. that can be removed and so now this is your V-tail right there unfinished of course but this is how it's gonna look like it's already looking pretty sick and pretty slick so now since we've finished the shape of the uh, V-tail with the tape and everything and the taper uh, we're gonna meet the uh, midsection uh, marks and cut them out halfway through the foam board. So we're left with this So we'll get an open section that could just move around like this and eventually hold its shape like this So the next step after cutting your V-tail uh, halfway through the midsection right here You're gonna take your barbecue skewers or um, ABS square type tubes and you're gonna mark out um, the length or like the cord on the uh, tube itself and then you're gonna cut it and that's what you're gonna do for both of them sides so I'm gonna mark out like you see here um, the length so I place the mark right there and I'm gonna repeat that on the other uh, piece as well and cut it out So basically you want to take out another piece of foam board and align out a perfect square. So mine is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters by 25 by 25. And then I lined out a perfect diagonal line. So you could line it out from here to here or from here to here, it doesn't matter. And so the next step is you're going to cut out the perfect square. So now your template is looking like this and so your next step is to mark out from an edge two and one eighth of an inch so i'm gonna mark it right there and you're gonna repeat that from the other uh, side of this edge so i'm gonna mark out one and one eighth of an inch and place a mark at the zero and so you want to uh, place down your ruler from um, mark to mark and you want to trace that out so it eventually will be a length of three inches so after you've cut the mark to mark line off it's finished so you could use your template right away like this but what I'd like to do is take out my ruler and cut this diagonal out so from this edge to this edge so I got this spare piece as another template so before I'm gonna glue my V-tail into its uh, final shape, um, it's advised to actually uh, make the control surfaces first and then uh, place the V-tail into its final shape and glue it together. So uh, I've cut out mine at one and a half inch by one and a half inch and beveled the uh, trailing edges. So I've done that and now I'm ready to um, glue the V-tail into its final shape. So I have my ABS square tubes, my Vito and my template. And so I'm gonna apply glue inside these cuts and immediately place these ABS square tubes into, into the gap or into the cut. And I'm gonna press against this template to um, hold its shape while the glue hardens. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Taking my hot glue gun, I'm applying it right here. So now I'm gonna take my ABS square tube out and I'm gonna place it with the round side into, into the cut like this and I'm gonna squish it down until it meets the 45 degree angle shape and I'm gonna press against it like this so.
So now the first uh, V-tail is finished and you could see that the ABS square tube in the uh, cut with the hot glue is holding its shape really well. So now I'm ready to do the second side. So I'll apply hot glue. Take my ABS square tube, put it inside like this, press it against it. So I'm going to press the ABS square tube. And so I'm going to take the template and hold the shape like this. So now my V-tail is almost finished, so the next step is to place it onto the fuselage. So now after using the template and holding my V-shape uh, together uh, while the glue hardens with the ABS square tubes inside the cuts, it should look something like this. So your V-tail is actually finished. but. Technically, it's not finished yet because if you would mount it on a plane right now and throw it without reinforcement, the VTO would just collapse and your plane will crash. So now we're gonna glue it onto the fuselage and apply reinforcement. So right now, when I put the VTO on my next build, it's already looking super nice and super awesome. So what I'm gonna do next is cut this excess off, uh, like right at the edge right here so that I could put the uh, V-tail structure a little bit more back. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I've cut up the excess and now I can place my V-tail right in front of the motor mount. So my V-tail is a bit more back and it looks fabulous. It looks really nice. And so my next step is to um, make marks and de-paper the foam board on where I'm gonna glue the V-tail structure on. So after depapering your uh, fuselage section on where you're gonna put the V-tail on and the underside of your V-tail, it's time to put some hot glue on and place it right where it's gonna be and just press a little bit against it for like one minute and then it should just stay up fine. So now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna just go ahead and just Fill the whole area with hot glue. And so now I'm going to take my V tail, line it up perfectly, and just press against your V tail like this. And just hold that for like one minute or one minute and a half and then we are up for our uh, final steps so your final step will be to reinforce this section right here so what you're gonna need are plastic cards and if you have a five or a six inch uh, effective root you could use one but i recommend from a seven inches of root cord or more um, two plastic cards so you're gonna place one right here and one right there. And so what I did was I bent the plastic card uh, in half like this. And so I'm gonna depaper this uh, section right here and up on the V-tail. And I'm gonna hot glue the uh, plastic card on there and hold its uh, shape like this until the glue hardens. So right now you can see that I depapered the foam board. And so now I'm gonna take two of my plastic cards and apply hot glue um, on these depapered uh, surfaces and I'm gonna apply pressure uh, on the plastic card that has been glued uh, until the glue hardens and so I'll repeat it on on the other side as well but also apply a second uh, plastic card behind it. So here you'll see how it will look like so I have my plastic cards glued on there I applied pressure and so now I'm gonna cover it up with some um, black wing tape 
to make it nice and smooth and uh, transitional from from like the fuselage to the V-tail. And I'll repeat this whole step to the other side as well. So at this point, your V-tail is finished. Look how mine turned out. Oh my goodness. It is looking beautiful. So after you've finished up your V-tail and put in the servos and also did the mixing in your uh, radio for your receiver, um, you should end up with up elevator like this. So both uh, rudder vaders move up, down elevator, rudder vaders move down. And this is gonna be your um, left rudder. So your left uh, rudder vader will go down and your right rudder vader will go up. And for uh, right rudder, your left rudder vader will go up and your right rudder vader will go down.